What's up guys and welcome back to some more House Flipper. This is episode 5 on the House Flipper series. Now I have some bad news. The footage you guys are seeing right now is uh, is my first flip. Uh, I got on here, I bought a, bought a little house. I'll show you guys that here quickly. Cut back to this. You can see we bought the camping bungalow right here. I did a full flip, which is what you guys are seeing uh, the time lapse of right now. And uh, we sold it. We got $12,000 in profit, I believe. So that puts us up to $69,000, which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. So now that we have all this money, I guess today we're going to go ahead and, and buy a new house. We're going to see what we can flip now. I'm between currently the abandoned house or the burned house. I haven't really taken a look at either one. It looks like this one's going to be a lot of work. And I don't know that we have, well, we do have a plaster tool now, so I suppose we could do that, but man, that looks rough. We're gonna have to do the entire outside. Let's take a look at this other one, the abandoned house. Oh, this one's honestly just as bad. I do like the exterior a lot more on this one. I think that has a lot more character to it. And then the other one, we could do a nice little patio back here. A house from the 1950s with an original layout of the rooms for general renovation. A large plot. I will sell for renovation. A fire broke out at the home, but the house did not suffer too much. And I estimate its condition as good. The house has two rooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Hmm. So that's kind of kind of like what we have currently with our shack. I do want to do something a little different though, so let's go ahead and buy the abandoned house. Something just with a little bit more character. Alright, here we go. It looks pretty dirty on the outside. It's nothing crazy, nothing crazy. We do have plenty of weeds around the house we're going to have to take care of quickly. A couple of tall grass spots. We're, we're for sure going to have to mow this lot. Get rid of our ditch weed over here. New skill point. Alright, what do we got now? Weeds visible on minimap. That could be nice. Increase planting speed by 80%. Let's do weeds visible on the minimap. There we go. And now we can see we have one right there. That's actually very helpful. I know when you're when you're mowing or when you get your weed whacker out, either one, it takes forever to actually get through the weeds, so it it honestly works better to come through and, and get rid of all the weeds first. So I'm just gonna go through the yard quick and get rid of all these weeds here, and then we'll meet back up in a second. Alright, that should be all the weeds around the house. Let me just do a quick lap around the exterior, see if we missed any. I don't see any in the corners. Now what I did find is these molehills. So we're gonna have to get out our shovel here, shovel each molehill, and the more you shovel, oh my god. God, they're so creepy looking. I Oh god, I'll never get used to that. Oh, it just gives me the chills, dude. Okay, so we gotta get rid of the rest of these so we never see that mole again. But the more you get rid of, the more they pop up. So you really just have to be fast and get rid of all of them. Looks like there's one more over here. There we go. All the molehills are gone. Great work. Alright, so let's see. I'm trying to figure out what we should do first. Should we at least go into the house? I haven't even shown you guys inside the house yet. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I'm going to be honest. I feel like the burned house, we would have been not really better off, but maybe we would have had less to do. Let's just sell everything in here. That's kind of what we did on the last one. Of course, you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me say anything that whole episode. I don't know for whatever reason. So th the reason I... I didn't, I didn't even talk about that, did I? The, the reason I didn't upload that was I didn't have any commentary in there. I, I forgot to, to turn on my audio interface the entire episode, which was... Not the, not the best thing in the world, but no commentary equals no views for the most part, especially on a game like this. Um, and yeah, I could have, you know, dubbed over it, but um, didn't really feel like doing that. It just 
just wouldn't be the same. Okay, let's delete everything in here. All the cups, all the pots and pans, everything. If you're a person with... Oh my god, I see them already. Oh, get out of there. Do you see that? All the cockroaches right there? Oh, that is so gross. Okay, let's try to just work our way around them for now. And we can we can take care of them in a second. God, that's nasty, dude. That just... Ugh. Okay, we'll go right around them. Pretend we didn't see that yet. Okay, sell all of this stuff. Any outlets. Any lights. Oh god, look at all the cobwebs on the ceiling. This has been abandoned for a long time. Okay, let's try to tackle these cockroaches. Get out our vacuum here. Yuck, dude. So you can replace this with broken glass. Um, but honestly, I figured I, I wouldn't be terrified of these things. Like, I, I wasn't going to totally freak out over it. But man, that's disgusting. Ugh. Okay. Now we're good there. We should probably get out our mop and just sort of start cleaning everything. We have a pretty good mop now, which is which is nice. So we just got to come through, clean off the floor. This place is a mess. Looks like some people have been living in this thing even after the fact of it being abandoned for quite some time, I would imagine. Okay, clean up that. Looks like we got some water spots on the ceiling. Hopefully we don't have a have any water leaks. Cobwebs in the corners. Having all the dirt show on the minimap is a huge help because I I can actually go through here and and figure out what needs cleaned. We haven't cleaned the outside yet. It looks just as gross, to be honest. All right, moving right along. Got to probably clean the whole side of this place. Exterior of the windows, awesome. All right, that'll do it for the outside. We'll have to come through and, and clean all the windows. But let's continue on with this bathroom, dude. This is the bathrooms are always the worst for whatever reason. This one's probably one of the worst I've seen. Even even our shack was better than this when we bought it. Just gross. Most of the stuff on the walls you can't clean. That we're just going to have to replace. Clean up the windowsill. Another stain on the ceiling. All right, that should do it for the dirt in there. Looks like we're missing some dirt right over here. Oh, it was cobweb. New skill point. All right, let's see. We got new mop, 50% faster cleaning. See most dirt in the minimap. Let's actually upgrade see most dirt in the minimap. That might help us a little bit more, especially on a place like this. I could imagine it's it's probably pretty easy to, to overlook something like that. Make sure all these windows are cleaned off. All the window sills anyways. Okay, was that a cobweb? No. All right, looking good, looking good. So it looks like we've cleaned it up for the most part. Do have some more cobwebs up on the ceiling. Not a big deal. Check every corner for those bad boys. All right, we got an electrical socket over here. Got to get rid of that. I'm trying to decide on whether or not we want to keep this layout. It's definitely not bad, but I'd almost rather have sort of the, that open kitchen concept. I'm tempted to just, just tear it all out. So I think we should just get out our sledgehammer and just start going to town on it. Why not? We could definitely use the skill points too. So I'm just going to go through and knock all this stuff out. And I will see you guys once I'm finished with that. Alright, I think we're done with all the interior walls. That definitely looks a lot better. Make the bedroom and the bathroom. I feel like our best bet, so like main entryway. You definitely want to have like your living room over here. Hmm, we could do, we could do like open kitchen sort of design, like have a, have a living room over here in the corner and then maybe, maybe put a kitchen, kitchen in this corner and maybe just a bedroom with a bathroom built into it. 
Gosh, dude, I don't know. Let's try that. Let's try that and see see how that goes. So let's extend this wall out to about the middle of the house. About there is probably good. Oh, we got another new skill point. 50% faster building. Can build five walls at once. Building distance is one meter more. Let's do 50% faster building. That'll definitely help out. So it looks like they had it ending at this window. I, I honestly hate when that when it does that. So I'm going to move that over just once. There we go. Something like that. And then we can... We can still have the bathroom in that corner, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can have we can have like a open kitchen, living, dining room sorta of, sorta of area. Let's start the bathroom probably here. And then we can put a door. Let's just put a door from the from the bedroom into the bathroom. That'll give us more space for the actual kitchen. Okay, and then Bedroom door, got to think about this a little bit. Bedroom door we might want over here, but that also would be a good spot for the TV to go. So maybe we maybe we put the bedroom door here. Yeah, let's do that. So let's make that there. One, two, three, four. So the door would go clear up to the wall. And then that'll give us plenty of space for the kitchen. Oops. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's our door. And we'll have to put our lentils up. Switch this over to lentils. Put our lentils above where the doors are gonna go. All right, and change that back to one. Whoops, there we go. Awesome. Sweet, dude, this is coming together. I actually, I like this layout a lot more than the original one. So we're gonna have sort of like a, a, a little kitchen over here. It might even extend over into this area. And then we're gonna have our, our couch or our sofa over here, TV up against this wall, and then a bathroom in here, of course. I think, I think that works really, really well. We could even have a TV in the bedroom. I don't think we've done that yet. So let's come through quick. And I'm just going to take care of the windows. Alright, that should be the last window, I believe. Now, all the windows are cleaned up. Oh, shoot. So, I don't know if we can paint over this or not. Let me, uh, let me buy some plaster quick. And we'll see if we have to, if we have to patch any of this. Plaster bucket, buy now. Put that there. Okay, it looks like we don't have to plaster any of this. That's good. What about in the bedroom? Nope. So apparently we can paint over this. I, that, I find that hard to believe. It looks pretty bad, but maybe that's just uh, maybe that's just the paint peeling. Let's put our doors in. We're gonna use our white exterior doors again. I say again, but you guys didn't really even get to see the first flip. Super, super sorry about that, but. We're back now, so everything is okay. Let's try to recess the door uh, and just make it flush with the exterior. There we go, that looks better. That'll that'll kind of make it feel a little bit more open too. And we'll do the same thing with the back door. Use the white knocker front door. I guess it's, it's a back door now. Okay, there we go. And we do have this, we have this nice little deck patio awning area. I kind of like that. We could put a, a barbecue out there or something. That might help us in our in our garden contest. Okay, so in this room looks good. This room looks good. Let's come through and paint this room. I'm trying to think of what color we should do. I feel like a beige always sort of looks pretty good. Let's do a gray beige in here. We do have tons of windows. We're probably gonna need a bucket in, in every corner, I would imagine. All right, get our roller out here. Oh, I completely forgot to do the internal doors, but that's that's not a big deal. Sweet, so we painted that whole wall with one roller. That's like, 
That's like the best I think we've ever done. Let's get our interior doors here quick. There we go. We're gonna need two of them, but we'll get one for now. I want the door to open up that direction. So I think that would probably look pretty good. Let's get rid of this. It looks like we got another there. Awesome. Okay, and then we'll do the same for the bathroom. White door. And line this up there. Have it open into the corner just like that. Awesome. Okay, we'll close that up for now. We're not going to go in those rooms just yet. Switch back over to our paint. And we just got to finish this entire room. This is going to use a lot more of of the paint on the roller due to it having to fill this sort of horrible drywall. I don't even know. That, that texture looks really weird to me. But we will live with it for now. Alright, I think that'll do it for the gray beige. I think that looks pretty good. That's definitely a, a good neutral color to use throughout the house. Um, we'll probably only use it in this uh, living slash kitchen area, but I think that turned out pretty good. So let's start by fixing up this floor here. Let's go to floor panels. Let's use this dark mahogany floor. I really, really like the look of this. Come through there, up and over here, up and over here. All right, through the doorway. We're gonna use this in the bedroom as well. The only place that's not gonna have a wood floor is gonna be the bathroom. So let's choose our bathroom tile. This is our favorite tile, man. We're gonna use this every chance we can in the bathroom. This 3D white ceramic tile. I think it looks super, super good. Just really makes the bathroom look awesome. And then the, the other thing that we're obviously gonna do is have another gray walled bathroom just because I think that's the best color combo with that tile so all right this is looking good I say we move along to the lights now just get a couple of lights in here we're gonna use the halogen ceiling lamps these halogen lamps right here we're just gonna buy a couple of them put one there one there one there and maybe a uh, okay. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to space this out a little bit better. We're gonna move this one so it's about here. Space this one a little bit more center. Okay, that looks that looks a little better to me. Now we can buy a couple more and just move these out here. Have one there, one here. Uh, no, I don't like that either. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna move this again. Put this one there, and then move this one over just a tad. Put that there. Let's add a light switch and see what it looks like. Go to installations, light switch, modern light switch. We'll just add one in, in every room. We're gonna have to do that anyways, so we might as well do it now. Bedroom there. This one here. All right, so let's see what we're what we're working with with these lights here. I don't think that looks bad. We definitely need more coverage. Oh, shoot, I say I say we leave it for now. Maybe maybe pull these over just a little bit more, just so there it doesn't have this dark area in the corner. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that looks too bad to be honest. We might need to add one in the center here. I suppose let's let's do that quick while we're on it. Lamps, ceiling lamps, halogen lamp, by now. So we want one like right here. Drop one right there. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. Now we have at least full coverage of the room. Okay, so next, what we should probably start doing is making this living, living room, living room. Let's go into furniture, get a nice couch. I'm basically trying to make the same thing that we already did, but oh, we don't want leather. That's not going to look good in here. Let's do elegant. I'm basically trying to make the same house that I've already made, just in a in a different 
actual house, if that makes sense. Right there. Boom. All right, that looks pretty good. I like that. I like that. Let's put our TV up on the wall here. Go to... I believe it's electronic equipment, hanging TV. There it is. Buy now. Let's try to center this on the wall. That looks pretty good. We got the filler on there. Have no idea what that's about. House flipper, garden flipper, warlocks. They got it all. All right, and let's add, let's add a little like entertainment center down there if we can. This looks nice. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do this in white. That looks pretty good. Rotate that around, get the drawers out front, and we'll plop that right about there. Yeah, I, I can dig that, I can dig that. Okay, now we're gonna need our computer. Obviously, we're gonna have a, a computer running the TV. Nobody wants to pay for cable. Computer Sphinx. Let's use their gaming computer here. And we'll leave that black and black. Let's buy now. Is it the front of the PC? Yeah, that's the front. Okay, so we should be able to put that right there. Looks good. Oh, let's turn it on. Duh, gotta get the lights going. All right, the other thing we're gonna probably want is, let's see, where is it? Controller, we're gonna need at least two controllers. Go with the, the 2G spec controllers. Line these up over here. One there. And one there. And a third one, just in case. Got a couple of friends over. Or a friend over, I suppose. I do want to do something else here, but I don't... I feel like if we put a coffee table there, that's going to be too much. So let's get just a rug. Go to floors, rug. Let's put a rug down here. I feel like this one could look pretty good. Blue edges, blue flowers. Let's put that rug down. Yeah, I, I can I can appreciate that. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, so the other thing we're gonna have to do now is sort of figure out what we wanna do for our kitchen area. I'm thinking we probably start the kitchen over here, but obviously we can't make it too close to that door. Otherwise we won't be able to get in there. So maybe we just have a, a corner cabinet here, maybe a, maybe a sink, and then refrigerator over there with a like an oven or something right there. Let's, let's try that, see what we can come up with. We're gonna stuff this in the corner as far as we possibly can. There we go. Yeah, so we can still we can still get in the room. That's no problem there. All right, let's put the sink down right there. That looks pretty good. Can we fit another? It'd be nice if we could bring it out to the door. Looks like this is our smallest cabinet here. Let's try to try to put this next to it. There we go. That's looking nice. All right, so we have our, our little kitchenette here over in the corner. We can put a cabinet up above. They do stick out a ton. I don't love it, but we'll... Shoot, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. They're too deep. They, the cabinet shouldn't be as as deep as the countertop. It should stop like right in the center. Okay, so let's get our refrigerator out. Okay, and refrigerator stack right there. Go ahead and buy now. And we're just gonna put this over in the corner right here. If, if we can fit it. That looks pretty good to me. Now we're gonna need our electronic cooker or our stove. It just happens to be electric. Put that down right there, and then we should be able to squeeze another cabinet in there. Let's go back to kitchen. Type Glen again. And let's see what we have for cabinets here that we can use. We're definitely going to want a wide one. This is sort of where our trash can would be. Every kitchen needs a trash can. Can we fit it in between here? Yes, we can. God, that turned out. That was perfect, dude. That's totally center on the window. That's awesome. All right, and let's get another one covered with drawers. Let's try this. That looks plenty wide. There we go. And maybe maybe one more cabinet on the end if we can. Squeeze that on the end. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. I lied. 
forgot to change the exterior. I don't know why I keep doing that. There we go. White, 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 cedar, black. Okay. Got it. Dude, I, I dig that. I dig that. That looks pretty good. Especially with how small this space is. We, you can't really make a huge kitchen. We definitely need something on that wall. We could probably use something maybe over here in the corner. A little painting or something. We can't really put a cabinet over here. We could we could put a cabinet up above the refrigerator. So let's get like let's get this one here. And we should be able to put that right above the refrigerator. There. Yes. Okay, that looks good. Let's put some some different style paintings in here. Let's pretend that this is like me and Oxana's place or something like that. Let's do some we could do the American Gothic. We we got the Mona Lisa right there. We got Scream. Got a couple of pictures of Oxane and I when we went to Mexico. Got a, a Farming Simulator 19 poster. Got a, a Minecraft poster. Let's let's just add one of one of Oxana and I. Let's add this one here. Make it a little smaller. Definitely don't need it to be big. Let's try this. If it'll let us do it. Yeah, I like I like that. So we could we could put this maybe up here in the corner. Just a little photo, a little photo, a little homey photo. Not a bad picture, they say. That picture's very interesting. Why? <laughs> Why is it very interesting? We're just, we're just chilling. We're just on vacation in front of this cool looking door. All right, let's add a bigger poster. Probably this one. This is a pretty wide one. Let's add this here. Just make it slightly bigger, maybe 0.75 meters. It's definitely a wider photo. Yeah, that's a good size. That's a good size. Let's add that right there. I like that. We can shine our flashlight. Oh, that just blurs it out. It is nighttime. Not the best time to be remodeling a house, but we can always change that if we really needed to. But I like that. A little a little decoration in here. Maybe our, our clients might appreciate that. Okay, so let's, let's come in the bedroom now. We're going to need some lights. Obviously, it is pretty dark. These, honestly, they just look the best. Um, that's the only reason I continue to use them. The only thing I don't like about them is how directional the actual like light source is. How it makes that circular shape on the floor wherever you put it. Add a couple more in here than we probably need, but I just want a lot of, a lot of coverage. That looks pretty good. They're definitely not spaced out evenly, but I'll just pretend like I didn't see that. My OCD does not like the lights in this game. I wish there was like a measurement tool or something. Okay, and then we're gonna need a couple of lights in here. Yeah, that's a that's a nice bright bathroom. Okay, so in this room, I'm thinking paint scheme. Let's see, we got gray beige out here, which is pretty plain and boring. Let's try a nice blue, maybe. Let's try this royal blue. That might look kind of good. We could even do one wall white and the others blue. I don't know. Let's just, let's chuck some blue on the wall and we'll see how it looks. And then for the windows, I do, I want to do something a little different in here for the windows. So I'll come over the top like normal, but I'm not going to actually touch the inside of the window. I want to do some white paneling inside the window. Add a little bit more depth into the room. Just sort of make it look a little bit bigger. Of course, we can add a couple of photos in here. Maybe another TV on the wall. But I want the I want the windows to look like they're like framed out in a in a wood trim. Panels of white. Maybe well, we might need two here. We might need three. I really don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. I, I kind of like it. it. It looks like the window is more framed out. It does sort of look like the same texture from far away, but once you get up close, you can tell that it's it's actually wood. I like doing this for doorways too. If, if you don't have a door and you just make a super big doorway with like the lintels, you can, you can get sort of creative here with that. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm a fan of that. Let's move along into the bathroom quick. We're going to do gray in the bathroom. 
yeah, it's kind of depressing, but it looks good. The color combo is, is perfect. Close up the bathroom door. And we'll start rolling it out. I'm not going to do the, the wood panel thing in the bathroom. I don't really see the need for it. Alright, I think that should do it for the paint in the bathroom. I think that looks nice. It, the color combo, or the contrast, I guess, between the, the gray and the white floor, I, I think that looks really, really good. I'm going to open that up the other way. Open this up the other way as well. Oh no. Did we just trap ourselves? I think we did. We're going to have to leave that door open like at all times. Just never close it. That sucks. Alright, so living room, kitchen. Looks pretty good. They're just considering this a, a kitchen. I guess, but the one thing I forgot to put out here was our Xbox Juan. This is the PS4. This is supposed to be the Xbox Juan. There we go. We got our Xbox Juan. And try to maybe put it over here closer to this wall. God, that takes up literally the whole room. I mean, the entire room. But. You know what? We're going to have to live with it, I suppose. Let's put a wall-mounted TV over here with another little table. Who doesn't who doesn't want a TV in their bedroom, you know? Even if it is this small. <laughs> All right, moving right along to the bathroom. Let's get our shower. Okay, and then the shower I want to do is the same shower I did in the other one again. You guys didn't get to see that, unfortunately. This one right here. I really like this, actually. We'll use the, the gray and the white glass. And the reason I like it is because this is how easy it is to assemble. You mount that, you mount the glass, you mount the door, and you're done. I mean, seriously. Easiest shower install ever. Okay, I'm thinking toilet over here just below the window. Maybe sink in the corner here. And we got the fatty, of course. We gotta chuck the fatty down there. Screw it into the floor. Right through our tile. Okay, and the sink. Let's do this dark sink. Okay, and we can install this thing. E to assemble. Alright, we'll put our studs in our wall. Support the sink. Put the base in. Do washer, then nut. Very important. Very important step. Okay, put our fittings in the wall here. Uh, it looks like we did a misclick somehow. I'm not actually sure how we did that. We're gonna have to clean up around the sink now. Okay, we'll put our gaskets in. Connect our pipes up. And we should be able to slide that in there. Awesome. Now all we have to do is just mop up that water that for whatever reason spilled. Cool. I dig it. So we got our, it, it, it says the room is a toilet. I believe they mean bathroom, but that's fine. Okay, let's get our mirror. Always got to have a mirror above your above your sink. Okay, we'll rotate that around just like that. Belt there looks pretty good. I dig it. I dig it. That's a that's a nice bathroom. So as soon as you add a mirror, all of a sudden it it says it's a bathroom there in the in the top right. This one clearly shows bedroom, and this one just says kitchen, but that's okay. All right, and for this room, I do want to put another painting right about there. Could also use a, a nightstand of some sort. So let's go to camera again. Go to our photos. It's it's going to take a while to actually load up, so just, just bear with me here. All right, so we use that one already, and we use that one. All four of these down here are from our trip to Mexico. You know what? It's the bedroom. It's supposed to be, you know, fun and, and, and whatever. Let's use this one here. 7.5 meters. That might be too big. Ah, what the heck. We'll chuck it on the wall there. I like that. I like that. We're holding the, holding the iguana. Because why not? Alright, let's add a little nightstand here. Maybe a little lamp as well. And we want bedside table Hermes. We'll get a white bedside table here. Alright, the frames just died on me. Put a little bedside table right there, and then let's get a lamp as well. Go back to lighting, or lamps. 
Sconces, standing lamps, standing desk lamp. This one here, that looks pretty good. Put that down right about there. Turn it on. All right, I dig it. I dig it, that looks pretty good. So this, we got a little bedroom here. We got, we got our kitchen slash living room. If we put lintels along this, it would probably break this up into a living room, but that's just gonna look awful. And then we have to paint some more. So I'd say I'd say we're we're done here, as far as the inside of the house goes. Um, now that it's just about morning time, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out the lawn mower so the neighbors don't get all pissed off. We're we're mowing at the break of dawn, but we're gonna we're gonna just do it anyways. And uh, I'll see you guys here in a sec. All right, I'd say the yard's looking pretty good. Um, we do have this last tree we just have to trim around. And other than that, I think we're about done. We just have to. Um, Put a little barbecue back here, probably. Try to increase the value just a little bit. We did get a new gardener skill. Let's do molehills visible on map. No, let's do in let's do increase planting speed. That should definitely help a a at least a little bit. There we go. We can get a nice grill here, nice barbecue. Put that down right there. We might want some chairs out here. Who knows, we might even might even have kids. We definitely need a hammock. Put that over here between these two trees, maybe. Turn it around, there we go. That looks pretty good. We got a little hammock out here in the backyard. What else can we do in the way of the yard? We got monkey bars, got a gym rope, balance beam. Let's do, let's do this hanging swing in a light blue and then dark blue top sort of match the hammock there we go and it looks like we have to assemble this even that's pretty cool put the cap on screw in our bolts put our nut on the end screw in the bolt put the nut on the end all right put the base down bolt this up and the other side the back oh so it's front and back Gotta put that nut on, put our cushions on, and we're done. That's pretty cool. I didn't I didn't think you'd have to assemble that. I figured for sure you'd have to assemble this, but alright, I'd say we're probably done with this house. Let's go ahead and submit it for oops, missed a little bit right there. Submit it for the garden test. I'd say we probably have the most American garden. Plus five percent. I'll take it. That's not bad, not bad. All right, let's put it up for auction. Starting off at 50,000, we bought it for 37,000. Okay, we're up to 55, and the top one, Raphael Erko. One bedroom, perfect, that was perfect for him, so we're making $17,000 profit. Let's negotiate a little bit. Let's let's say, hey man, your offer's too low, I want, I want five more grand from you, or just about. Let's try that, see what he says. Cool, I'll take it. Sweet, so we got $22,000, or oh, almost twenty-three dollars for that, for that quote-unquote first flip. Again, I've already done my, my technical first flip, but that is a good second best for sure. That one was actually a lot better than the first, so I'm glad I had to redo it. And we got moles now! I'll go ahead and take care of these. It looks like our account balance is at 89,000. Pretty good way to end the episode, but I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know in the comments uh, if there's something else you guys want me to do while I'm playing this game. Uh, most people don't usually make a long-standing series of this, but I'm kinda into it. I really like these sorta indie, sorta chill games, so let me know in the comments, but uh, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Peace.